What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Skidden here, and as you can tell today's video, and what jersey I got on what player build I got, I have created a go to LeBron James build on NBA 2K22. I'm going to warn you in advance. Y'all can, I'm just going to say this, Ralph Rip, you cannot make a perfect LeBron James build on any NBA 2K, unless you're in, like, my league. But honestly, this is as close as you're going to get. You see, his name is Facilitating Finisher. His name is Fire. And, uh, yeah. First, I'm going to get into how you make the build, you know. You got to know how to make it. And then, after that, if you want to stay, I'm going to show you what badges I would use when this build is maxed out. And then I'm going to get into, if you make this build as a rebirth right after that, what you get, like the attribute points, the badges you get, all of that. So let me not waste your time anymore. Let's get right into how you make this build. All right, y'all. Here in the build, you got to go small forward. LeBron is right-handed, technically, the number. You can either go 23 or 6. Personally, I go 23. But just make sure you go small forward for the purpose of the build. Now, you can come down here to this yellow and blue pie chart, the fourth one down. Right? So, you got to do the pig pie chart with the most speed because, you know, you got to be fast. LeBron, LeBron do be having some wheels sometimes, you know? Max out your driving dunk, driving layup, and put your close shot to a 86. So, you get 14 finishing badges on this build, which you can get Limitless Takeoff Hall of Fame, Posterizer Hall of Fame, Slithery Hall of Fame. You can do whatever you want with those extra two. Max out your mid-range, three-point free throw, and put your post fade to a... 57 so you get 10 shooting badges on this build it's not the greatest but like i said in the intro you cannot make a perfect lebron build so you just got to sacrifice a little bit of the shooting but on this game you can shoot perfectly fine with a little three-pointer and with 10 shooting badges you go and max out your pass accuracy ball handle and put your post control to a 57 so you get 24 playmaking badges on this build that is crazy 24 that's what LeBron do. LeBron be making plays for his teammate. You're going to put your interior defense to a 49. Max out perimeter, lateral, steal, block, and defensive rebound. So you get eight defending on this ball. You get 14 playmaking, 10 def shooting, 24 playmaking, and eight defending. Did I already say playmaking? Y'all know what I mean. 14 finishing, 10 shooting, 24 playmaking, eight defending. It's been a long day, y'all. But uh, yeah, those are the attributes. You're going to go define. You can go build if you want. Honestly, for LeBron, I probably go build. That boy is built pause um you don't go six foot seven for the purpose of a 2k build so you can hit some of the thresholds we need to hit you don't know lebron like six eight six nine but for the point of the build we're gonna go six foot seven you still gonna be bodying these little play shots trust me you're gonna be going crazy you can go 203 pounds you don't know lebron ain't a little boy out there so you're not gonna go 180 to get the most speed yeah you want some speed but you're gonna go 203 pounds because you still get 87 speed 85 excel so at 99 with jim right you'll have 95 speed, 93 excel, which still is pretty good. You just won't be like these 6 2 play shots I just left right. So you're going 203 pounds, and then you're going to go 87.0 wingspan. Because that gets you the 85 driving dunk threshold off rip where you can get like tomahawks and all that. If you just want contact dunks, you can go 84, but there's really no reason, no benefit of you going 86 instead of 87. So the reason you're not going 88 or 89 is because you want that extra three pointer. Just. Just because the 86 threshold driving dunk doesn't matter that much. So you're going with 87.0. So at 99, you get an 89 driving dunk, 90 driving layup, 67 three-pointer, which, like I said, LeBron would probably be around 75, 80 three-pointer, really. But 67 three-pointer with 10 shooting badges, you should still be hitting. I'm not going to lie. It's really easy to shoot a little three-pointer this year. You're going to get 87 pass accuracy, 83 ball handle, 99, along with a 78 perimeter defense, 77 skill, 75 rebound, 68 block. You'll be going crazy. And that 99 with Jim Ryan, like I said, 95 speed, 93 Excel, 82 Vert. You'll be going even with, even, uh, what is that? Uh, 50, 59 strength. So you're not, again, that's one of the spots you got to sacrifice. But you're still not going to be a lightweight out here. You can choose between slasher, play, and shot creating take. I would not choose shot creating take if you want a perfect LeBron build. I either go playmaking or slashing. Playmaking take would be where he is at now in his career, you know, in the Lakers. He's you know, he's getting up there in age. He's trying to make plays with his teammates. He can still dunk. Don't get me wrong. But he's more of a playmaker. If you want more of that prime LeBron feeling, you got to go slasher take so you can be catching some bodies out here. So you have built a facilitating finisher. They really should have had shades of LeBron right there. Just straight LeBron. But 2K hating on my bills. I'm not going to lie. 2K be hating. So now let me get in to show y'all what badges I run on this build. You're going to see we're not going to test into my player builder. 14 finishing. Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, Hall of Fame Posterizer, Hall of Fame Slithery, and probably Silver Fearless Finisher. That's all you need, really. This is what I use on my Slash and Playmaker, because if I think I fast switch on, it's because I got the extra badges, but fast switch don't really do much. Fearless Finisher, that badge is crazy. Uh, 10 shooting, I go Hotzo Hunter Gold, Sniper Gold, Stop and Pop Gold. You can put Catch and Shoot on Bronze. This is what I would do personally. Or 
Lucky number seven on bronze. That's what I use, actually. Lucky number seven is crazy. I'm not going to lie. 24 playmaking. Whew. Hall of Fame Bullet Passer. Hall of Fame Unblockable. Hall of Fame Quick First Step. Hall of Fame Handles for Days. Gold Hyperdrive. What's the other badge? Gold Quick Chain. Bronze Bailout and Bronze Glue Hands. Because, honestly, Bronze Glue Hands, that badge is crazy even on Bronze. If you can put this badge on Bronze, do it. If you're a spot up, put this badge on Bronze at least. Especially if you're a spot up like a P-Lock or a Glass Cleaner, put this thing on Bronze. But I like it on Bronze. If you want to take it off, put Bailout and Silver, that's up to your Quick Channel Hall of Fame. That's personally up to you. I like to have it on Bronze. That's why I also like the extra playmaking badge. Uh, 8 Defending. Make sure you have Chase out on Bronze. Rim Protector on Bronze. Intimidator on Gold. Clamps on Bronze. And personally, these last two, you can go whatever you want. I'd probably go Ball Stripper on Bronze and Pickpocket on Bronze. Because honestly, Bronze defensive badges this year are crazy. Intimidator is the only one I usually have above Bronze. Because Chase on Artist, you don't need anything above Bronze. Maybe Silver Max if you have 30 defensive badges. Rim Protector on Hall of Fame is usually good too, but... I like a bunch of spread out a bunch of bronze badges for defensive purposes. But uh yeah. Those are the badges I use when this build's maxed out. Well, let's go get right back into the neighborhood and show you what you get if you make this build as a rebirth. Aye, y'all. As you can see, we are back up in the neighborhood. On the LeBron James builder. Concha Domar, whatever it's called, I don't know. Before we get into what you get as a rebirth, though, make sure you follow my Twitter. It's gonna pop up on screen right here. You can get in contact me there. Find out what videos are dropping, when they're dropping, you can DM me at any time. I will see it. Trust me. But, uh, yeah, so once you make this build as a rebirth, as y'all see, you get 373 attribute points. I'm gonna go through, put all these on just some random attributes, just so you can see that it's gonna get you to 90 overall flat. I'll show you what you start out with. I'm also just gonna upgrade what I personally would upgrade first since you made it as a rebirth. I'd upgrade all these stats first, and then once you unlock the other attributes, you can un put whatever you want on there. But, let's see. Put defensive rebound up. I got 38 left. Let me put the interior defense up and put the rest on block over here. Yo, I'm I'm choking. Uh, there we go. That's the person what I would start out with. You get 90 overall. I can't see the speed. I'm kind of far away. You get 84 speed, 82 excel to start out with, which isn't horrible. But you're gonna be going crazy. I'm not gonna lie. This build is fire. For the badges, I actually forgot to do this in one of my build videos. For badges, you get five year 14 finishing, put on Hall of Fame, Limitless Takeoff, and then Bronze Posterizer. Limitless Takeoff is the first badge you should put on. You should put it on as high as you can before you even think about putting on another badge. Unless you only have one, then you can put it on Fast Switch or whatever. Four finish, or four shooting, my bad. Uh, you can go Sniper Hall of Fame, and then you don't get any hot zones off rip, so personally, I go like Stop and Pop. Just because you're not going to have any hot zones off rip, but uh, I just said that. Nine playmaking, we gonna go Hall of Fame quick first step. Bronze handles for days, silver bullet passer, and silver unpluckable. Cause if you don't have unpluckable on, you're trying to grind this build in park, you're gonna get ripped and you're gonna wanna delete the build. Just as fast as you made it. So at least put unpluckable on silver to start out with. Two of your defending, put chase down on bronze and intimidator on bronze. You little bronze, you gotta be getting these chase down blocks. You gotta be hearing the block by James. Alright, I'm gonna stop. Um let me just uh this is just kind of awkward now, but <laughs> let me know what y'all think of the build. Let me know if you're going to make it by dropping a like, leaving a comment, because this build's fire. I might. I know I've been saying I'm making a lot of builds in my build videos, but this one, I, don't, I might have to make it. That, P, that per, per, pure lock, I was about to say perimeter lock. I already made my P lock, actually, but the the pure lock, I'm definitely going to make in the, the Damian Lillard slashing playmaker BP build. I'm definitely going to make that one, too, and I'll know what I'm doing anytime after that, but uh, yeah. Let me know any of the video ideas you guys got in the comment section below. Current gen, next gen, gameplay, tips, builds, challenges, anything y'all want to see. Like I said, let me know what y'all think of this build by and dropping a comment, dropping a like if you're going to make it. Or just drop a like because you're rocking with me. Please, I need it. But uh, yeah, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.